Most likely this will be my last video for tonight. Oh wow. You don't need nothing. Most likely I'll trade her for her. And see how we do from her. Alright, let's see how this goes. Alright, she got her stuff. Yes. Alright, let's go. Most likely, I know this is gonna, I knew it. This is gonna be like a... Always when there's like consecutive save points. There it is. It looks like that's our ghost. What the hell? It's like a tree on a floating island. What the? So this is what's been living down here. What? That's it? If it's not a ghost, then it's no problem at all. Don't get you. Don't be such a crybaby. Take that! Solar Flare! Damn it. Hurrah! 
I don't fucking Take mess that. it up like a stupid ass. Now you will sleep. Shit, man. Don't run me over. Damn, bro, what the hell's the matter with you? For this dude. I can do way better than this. Sweet. Oh, I missed a chance to um I missed a chance to give the boy the medicine. I'm sorry. If I remember, this is her mommy. Hello. Looking for polka, where is she? <laughs> so fake. Polka's mother. it now. Hmm. 
Mama knows something that she don't want to say. So that's what she does at the beginning. All right. So let's go to the flower fields. I can't believe I missed the chance to give the boy the medicine. I didn't have a ring. Now I get a ring. It's a power ring, but you know. And I need to find um, this dude's costume. You gotta say, boy. Open your mouth. Hi, Allegretto. Hey, I came to get you, Polka. Oh, thank you. Where are the others? Ah, uh, don't worry about those guys. I left them with a really important job to do back in Red Tardondo. <laughs> We're gonna be heading off to Baroque on the first ship that sails tomorrow morning. So this is what my town looks like from far away, huh? Yes. Wow. Damn. That's a long from way walk. up here. It actually looks really beautiful. Oh. Yeah. When you're down there, it's all cluttered and noisy, and the streets are dirty. The reality isn't nearly as peaceful. Oh, I see. But I guess this is how you see it all the time, huh? Wow. I gotta admit, it's not too shabby. Not too shabby at all. It's strange. I seem to remember the view being much more beautiful when I was younger. Even though there weren't nearly as many lights then as there are now. Oh, really? Hmm. Oh yeah, of course. I know I used to look prettier. You do? Take a look at the sky. What's up? The sky. The stars that shine so bright. The dark oh. blue night. Back when the lights from the town weren't so bright, I bet you could see way more stars. As the town got brighter and you could see fewer and fewer stars, maybe that's when the view started to get a little less beautiful. The stars. Yes, you're right. I think that must be what it is. Hey, by the way, Polka. How are you, uh... You know, how's your health and all? I mean, are you feeling okay these days? Oh, he's so worried about her. I'm fine. I enjoy myself so much when I'm with all of you. Sometimes I even forget I have this illness. You know... I've been thinking about it a lot, and if I couldn't use magic, I don't think I would have ever felt this desire to go out and help other people like this. If that had been the case, I would have never set out on this journey, and I probably would have never had the chance to meet you. That's true. You really think so? I know so. That's why I'm so grateful to have been given these powers. But he's seen her in the town, so he could have said hello or anything. But it was by chance. What's the matter? I mean, it's fine and all to want to do things for others, but Polka, come on. Shouldn't you really be thinking a little bit more about yourself? 
What? You know, don't be afraid to speak up about the things you want to do and the places you want to see. But I'm fine, Allegretto. Being able to travel around with all of you, that's enough for me. Why do you say things like that? What the hell? You may not have that much time left to live. Oh, that's why. I'm sorry, I just... Sorry for the background no, noise. It's okay. This is all so frustrating. More than anything, I don't want to let you die. But what the heck can I do? If I knew, I would do it. I'm so sorry. What for? Well, I... I had no idea you'd been worrying about me this much. But... For some reason... Knowing that actually makes me feel kind of happy. Oh, <laughs> Keith? We will see a Keith. Hmm. I'm surprised they don't like slip and fall off the mountain. Maybe I should just well, jump off this the cliff. cliff right now. Then maybe a new life would be waiting for me—a life without sickness and fear. The hell's wrong with you, girl? Mm -hmm. No! Wait, Polka, don't! What's the matter, Allegretto? You look so shaken. Did you think I'd really jump off? Even if I don't have long to live, I'm not gonna do something as stupid as that. Oh, but she will. But thank you anyway for wanting to stop me from doing it. Polka, I... I love you. I love you, Polka. All right. How about I have my special rock make the jump for me? It can go in my place. Please, let it go all the way to the sea. <sighs> you throw like a girl. Oh, damn. I mean... Nice throw. What did you throw? My special treasure. It's just a rock with a strange shape. But it's the perfect thing to take my place, don't you think? Ooh, show him the rock. Oh. It was just a rock? That was your treasure? Actually, that reminds me. I found a rock with a weird shape today at the shore by Retardando. The same thing, oh crap. Here. Keep it. Hold on to this one in place of the one you threw away. Besides, I'm sure this one is much more unusual. Look how weird the shape is. He's like, I just threw this rock. That's but, so um, weird. Don't throw this one away, okay? After all, it's the first gift I've ever given to a girl. <laughs> He wants it to be special. Well, I guess I'll see you tomorrow morning in the harbor. Don't be late getting to the ship. What does this mean? Could it really just be a coincidence? I can't believe there are two rocks like this with the same strange shape. Wait a minute. Is no, it like time traveling? This is definitely the exact same one. It's been mine forever. There's no way I could be wrong about it. Oh, shit. The weight, the feel, everything is identical. She just threw it and he but found it earlier before. Alfredo somehow picked it up on the beach before I threw it away. That rock wasn't my treasure because it was unusual. It was my treasure because I received it from someone I love. Oh shit, what the hell? And now, Allegretto's given me a rock that has the exact same shape. Does that mean... A treasure that I received from someone I loved. A treasure that was from Allegretto. Oh my god! 
Oh, this is interesting. Yes. Chopped off his hands, he couldn't play the music anymore. I really have to find Chopin's music. Most likely I'll download them from YouTube. <laughs> What is love? Love is crazy, love is blind. Love makes you sing in the middle of the night for no apparent reason, blasting your music. Blasting love songs from the 80s. Old man looking for love, trying to find out who he is. Most people like to express their feelings through a lot of things music, singing, letters. Killing other people. <laughs> I'm joking. We are on a boat. <laughs> now this is traveling in style. Yeah, it's definitely way better than falling in a river. You're not kidding. No way I'm doing that again. <laughs> hey! Polka! Allegretto! She seems 
very happy to see him. Well, what have we here? I see the two of you have become awfully friendly all of a sudden. <laughs> what? Oh, he ought to be a man. What you're talking about. I see. I guess sticking us with all the dirty work in Retardondo worked out pretty well for you. What does she mean, all the dirty work? <laughs> Uh, listen, just instead them. of dwelling on the past, it'd be more constructive to think about our next move. Yes, of course. You know, he does have a point there. <laughs> like... I suppose. I, for one, plan on joining up with Andantino. Yeah, I want to help Jazz fight, too. I don't care if Crescendo is a prince. I think Baroque's being really irresponsible about all this. But Prince Crescendo is only doing what he thinks will avoid a dangerous war. Well, that might be a noble idea at all. But wishful thinking isn't going to help the people who are suffering from the effects of mineral powder. Exactly. Hey, you never know, though. Jazz might have already been able to work out something by talking with the Prince. Huh. Serenade is a spy. I have to be. For everyone. I would like to see what Crescendo does. Sometimes it can be hard to do something that a lot other people can't do. I mean, how are you supposed to know that what you do will make a difference? How can we ever know what is truly right? It's strange. Even though this is my dream, I no longer have any idea what's going to happen next. What could it all mean? Hmm. You're gonna die soon! Well, I want to see what happens. He'll be smacking her. Pal, you're a spy. You bitch, you're a spy. Throw her against the fireplace. Hit her with the poker. Pop. Poison her drink. Oh, forget this. I'm in last place again. What are you talking about, Viola? That's not true. You're in third place. That's last place. He's right, you know. Third place is a bronze medal. Not bad at all. Hey, are you two trying to make me angry? I'm in third place out of three players. <laughs> you can't tell me that deserves a bronze medal. No, we didn't mean it like that. Sosa, come on. Say something to her. <laughs> yeah, Beats right. Without you, old lady, we wouldn't... What? Hey. Oh crap. Oh. What? Oops. Without you playing sweet and kind Lady Viola, the game wouldn't be any fun at all. <laughs> uh, hmm. freaking salsa. Since when do you two get along so well with each other? <gasps> They're together. Oh. Well, whatever. Anyway, I'll play again later if I'm in the mood. <laughs> Great. Nice job, Salsa. You could have at least let Viola beat you a couple of times. No, she got mad and left. What about you? You could have lost a few, too. If she <laughs> keeps getting bronze medals the whole time, the old lady might decide not to play with us. <sighs> it's already been a whole week since we arrived in Baroque. I'm so bored. What in the world could Jazz and the Captain possibly be talking about anyway? You can say that again. I'm tired of sitting around. I wonder. If we wait for Waltz to make a move, it'll be too late. Too many have already lost their lives to that mineral powder. If we don't eliminate the source of the powder, we can never hope to resolve this. He's still thinking about his wife. His fiance. War is nothing more than a battle of egos. A desire to surpass your adversary. And as long as both sides feel that way, this clash will just continue on indefinitely. It's simply not worth it. By putting so much effort into a never-ending battle, we all lose sight of the things that really matter. Eventually, the reason for the conflict is forgotten. Replaced by the challenge of battle. The battle for power. You may still think you are fighting against your opponent.
But at some point, it's no longer about who wins or loses. It's a power struggle. So being such a bitch. He's gonna kill all your people. You're gonna a be like, why well, didn't I do between anything? Adults who should know better. It's just embarrassing. Listen, when you eliminate all the other possibilities, you cannot escape the truth that remains, no matter how difficult it may be to accept. I let myself believe in something that wasn't true, that Claves wasn't a spy for Forte. Looking back, I let myself believe what I wanted to be true without realizing it. I know that my weakness was the very thing that led to her death. Maybe in some way, I was trying to make up for a lack of faith in myself by believing in Claves. Hmm, same thing you're doing. Is what you're doing any different? Crescendo, please. I don't want to watch you make the same mistake that I did. I already know. Huh? I realized it a long time ago. That a Forte spy had infiltrated my inner circle and was hiding very close to me. What? A spy? Who is it? My fiancé. Jazz, my friend. Could you please give me some time alone to think? That's the bad thing when you fall in love with the... I want to find the best answer. The person who... Supposedly he's supposed to stab you in the back. Serenade. It doesn't matter to me whose side you're really on. In fact, if there's one thing I'm sure of, it's that the things you've said to me are absolutely true. I always knew that you were connected to Count Waltz. I assumed you were assigned the role of preventing Baroque and me from attacking Forte first. An attack from Baroque would be a problem for Forte, so Count Waltz sent you to me as insurance. But from a different perspective, it also means that right now we have the power to defeat Forte. The more you rejected the notion of war, the more my suspicions were confirmed. See, but he's just gonna I let them build the forces. Serenaid, and I understand that this is not the real reason why you oppose this war. There are absolutely no arguments that I can use against you. Once I realized that, I could no longer see aiding Andantino as a just course of action. No. A rebellion no longer serves us any purpose. To avert this war, we have to find a new solution. Well, wouldn't you agree? Serenade? Oh, she's listening. She's listening in. Oops. Uh oh Hey, Polka. Do you believe in good luck charms? Yes, I tend to take them too seriously. Okay, then I'll teach you a good one. Hold your fingers out like this. 
Like this? Yeah, this charm works really well, and it's easy to do, too. Great, what do I do? Just hold your hand like this, in front of the person that you love. If you do that, the charm's supposed to make them fall in love with you, too. Easy, huh? <laughs> That's it? Really? Really. And you can see the results right away. Hey, how about giving it a try next time you see Allegretto? <laughs> oh, Viola, please, don't tease me like that. <laughs> What the hell's wrong with her? What the hell? What the hell happened well, here? Jazz, is your meeting thing finally over? Not yet. It's an important decision. I don't think it's something he can decide on quite that easily. He's going to think about it alone. Again, that's Wesker's it voice. It seems like it's going to take him a little while. So, let's spend the day exploring Baroque Castle tomorrow, all right? Well, all right. Finally, I get to see By the way. I don't think I've ever heard of that charm before. Well, yeah. Of course you haven't heard of it. Something I thought up just now. Maybe <laughs> oh, I should slick. patent it. Don't joke around with her too much, Viola. Don't worry about it. Of course the charm won't work. I was just trying to give her a little courage. Watching those two together is making me crazy. <laughs> Well, don't go overboard. I'm the one who really needs courage. What about you? What? Do you have someone special like that too, Viola? <laughs> Don't be silly. Of course I do. He's with me all the time. Argo, come here. Ooh, she likes him. And Falsetto likes him too. Claves and Falsetto. <sighs> well, looks like I'm third out of three players. I'm the bronze medal winner again. Everybody just falling in love with each other in this shit. Oh, hey Viola, are you here because you want to play some more? <laughs> wow, this is certainly a surprise. Yeah, I figured you got mad and left, Viola. You know, because you kept losing to us all the time. Nah, it's okay. I kind of realized something. Bronze medals suit me. Besides, today's the last day we'll be able to relax. Jazz just told me. We're heading out tomorrow. Oh, okay. Now, hurry up and deal the cards. Whoa, she's scaring me. Me too. <laughs> Maybe she's got some kind of super secret strategy worked out. I'm starting to get nervous. You know, guys, bronze medals aren't that bad after all. They're kind of nice. Huh? Hmm? Huh? They're like, yeah, okay. Prince Crescendo wants some time alone so he can plot the best course of action for Baroque. I suppose it's going to take a little while for him to reach a decision. In the meantime, why don't we take a walk around Baroque? And like that, I can finally save. <laughs> Alright, um, if I remember, there was a safe spot around here. I think it was around here. No, we can't leave Baroque right now. Let me see if I can find an inn, or... Can we go to the castle courtyard? Ugh, because I, I don't want to start another scene. Alright, right here, I think. I remember 
correctly. No. Crap, where was the way? What's in here? Is this the courtyard? something on this side. Here we go. I think there was a, a safe spot over here. Here we are. Yes. Alright, now I can save. <laughs>